That was like pretty darn cool. Imagine if there was one. That was a plant like that created electricity. Oh, that would be pretty darn cool. I feel like we explored everything here. Well. I feel like we I explored everything we can over here, I should say. Like, this is gonna be fire, ain't it? Wait, this gonna, we're not going to the fire wing. I, like, we're going to the fire wing. I thought fire canisters are gonna work on it, not gonna lie. Right, right there, right, right there. Party save area, yep. Hold it. Oh, yeah, I've already been over here. Data. Is this where it went before? Yeah, we've been here before. Look, that's it. Oh, I'm not sure where that was. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. Good. Just had to double check, you know. Bound not to miss anything here that I, you know. That's where once we go, then we go over here. Never mind, not gonna. Oops. It doesn't actually use. That's good. I only use it when I'm hitting the actual stuff. That's good to know, I can swing for fun. The Oreo seems safe for now. Not reading anything bad anywhere, really. Let's go over here. Let's grab the stuff here first. Let's see. Blueprint, sure. Hey, Neo Coloradans. Coloradans, sure. Your experiments were a success. Working together, although we did more, of course. Teams from Vavilov and Pavlov have bred a new species of Colorado potato beetle. It's a way of fighting fire with fire. That's what we call them, by the way, fire beetles. The new parasite only eats harmful plants such as ragweed, sumpweed, wormweed, and hemlock. The last one is personal. Killed my dog. <laughs> Due to the toxic substances in the beetle, birds won't eat it, and introducing it will not harm it. Sure about that? You sure about that? <laughs> You'd be surprised. The part just evolved to be able to eat them eventually. In addition, the beetles cannot reproduce and will die after a season. This means we no longer need pesticides or other harmful substances. One parasite eats another, isn't it neat? Actually, not too bad if they died after. If they all died after, if there's a few that could reproduce, then you might be in trouble, but, but whatever. I own factory, sure. I have nothing but respect for the Sheck Furniture Factory, but I've got a great idea. Let's use Vavilov's Bav facilities to make our own. We've been getting a lot of prisoners lately, and they're all reasonably competent. Plus, they're always recycling all kinds of pine trees and birch trees that didn't pass inspection, like stuff like that. As office manager, it pains me to see this. Maybe it just seems like the excess lumber to you scientists, but to me, it's wasted potential. We can supply the whole facility with its own furniture made from unique species. It's a great idea. Is it not? Is it not? Yeah. Is it not? Plus, every set of furniture would be what the French call the exclusive. Hmm, okay. That's what I guess. Okay, do Operation Amazon. Document preparation. A crisis is currently underway in the Amazon region. They, thanks to their capitalist industrial sloppiness, the Amazon rainforest is dying off at a terrifying rate. Comrade Vavilov has ordered me to assemble a committee to solve the problem. Right now we are suggesting that fast-growing tropical trees with more durable root structures begin be designed. The most important part of this project is its secrecy. We usually love bragging to the entire world about helping underdeveloped countries, but we need to avert this particular disaster without a lot of bluster. Don't know what bluster is, but um, yep, I see. Okay, if that's where I'm supposed to go, let's go over here instead. Yeah, more of those crazy guys, eh? I know where this is, that's not too bad. They reconnect, I know where that, I know exactly where that is. Probably drop down. 
balls in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. Man, whoa, wish I would have known that. Somewhere around here. How much I can kill me, man? Okay, we can get down there. Oops. Oh, whatever, doesn't really matter. Put it down here, but let's go here instead. There we go, kid. Okay. Oh, I need to stop talking whenever I do it, because I have to focus hard. Every there. Okay, just connects it back to the save. That's not too bad. What the heck is it doing? Must be testing out its foot or something here. Like, I don't know. Everybody, whoa. Are they very vulnerable to electric? Well, just let me determine. Ah, it is skip. The boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. Perfect. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. You actually want to quite well. Yes, I will. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, Where? a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure. Oh, look, in a second, don't you worry. I'll try getting them into the boilers. What were we talking about? I was kind of distracted here. You know, a bit of bodies, or a bit of these guys were, you know, just around. I had to kind of deal with them, you know how it is, right? You know, those right there, see? I'm gonna command if I can, might as well not waste. You know what they say, waste not, want not, after all, right? We just did that way, didn't really worry about stuff, and we cleared the area out. Yeah, I just need to get through it here. I don't need to use my, my finger anymore. Oh, I feel so much better. Melvin, I'm not surprised. Sorry, pal, but I just need it more. You get it, right? You're a machine. Okay, I found the opening. So, uh, I need it more. <laughs> What's your lot in life? Serve humans, right? Well, What's I happening here? Serve folks too. I served your course. He's a dog to me. I didn't do it just to get a fancy medal. I was fighting for equality so everybody could have the same rights and responsibilities. Yeah. So everybody could be like everybody else. Now, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. Got one of these robots, eh? Let's take this here. On the names of new plants. Who cares about Martian potatoes or moon wheat? You're coming up with really boring names. Trust me, it matters. What if we fly off to another solar system like Albert... Aldebaran or whatever. I don't know. I'm no expert on that stuff. And then we plant our magnificent, non-picky sunflower on a planet there. Then it turns out it's not a sunflower at all. Because there's no sun. So now it's an Aldebaran flower. Think about that. And we should think about blueberries too. Since they won't even be blue on Mars. We could call them red berries, but that's no good. And pink berries? Just sounds weird to me. <laughs> Stressing about the non-important stuff, eh? Okay. He pulled the plug. Mavalod pulled the plug in my project. He said it was a logical and favorite from over favorite form over substance. Okay. Can you believe that? If we can make sprouts, why do we have to breed regular cold resistant or heat resistant plants? 
if we want to settle new worlds, maybe we should create new plants there. Look, I love a Russian birch forest, but if I fly to, say, Cuba, I want to see palm trees and reeds. You know, you know, something new. We shouldn't grow freaking apple trees on Mars. We should grow flaming Martian beehive cacti or stalks of electric wheat. We've got the chance to make a new world unlike any other, and we're growing cabbage. Give me a break. <laughs> on sprouts, here. Please read this carefully. It's not a joke. Yesterday, while disposing of organic waste, I deposited several carcasses of pigs that had expired during experiments into the sprout breeding chamber. Oh no, man. Is that why there was bodies walking around? Dead bodies walking around? Oh, well. Now what should we do about it, right? Anyways, we checked the recordings again today to see where the bobas have been going. And I discovered that the pigs have had gotten up, walked around the chamber, and even tried to get outside. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, the carcasses had been eaten. There may be something we don't know about the sprouts. I insist that we study this incident, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I know which sprouts are talking about, yep. Yeah. yeah, whatever. First sure I cleared out everything, so we should be fine. Should be more or less finer. See this here. How do I get into the pipe? I know where I remember the spot actually. I remember this in, in the trailer. <laughs> I do now lug this shit to the boiler myself we have to hold the entire time no good no I don't need to hold up so it can be annoying I was expected. I knew they'd be coming. It was just a matter of time after all. Before they started coming about. Where it looks clear. What's over here? Crispy critters, that's the wrong door. I know it's the wrong door, man. They don't blow up, right? I know it's the wrong door, man. Gosh darn. I was looking. I forget if I went over there, man. Yo. It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. Ah, fair point. So I need to get it over here, over there. Okay, change it here to here to here to here. To here. Sure. There we go. Up we go, and down. There we go. Second one's all set. There they are. Oops. Mistake him. Mistake with me. Not dead with a fudge. I feel like I expect him to die quickly, but dude, dude's kind of resistant there. There we go, now that's how it should be dead. They yeah, just wasn't aiming for the head enough, maybe. Maybe that might be the situation we have. So if we want to get over there, I want to go through this one there. One there. Yep. Just wanted to get a good look first, you know. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid <laughs> only an irregular <laughs> door is available. Yep. He was down, yep. He's through here. Nope, hey, 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 get back here. Over here. There we go. Through this way. And right. Well, Through there. Oh, I always put that one up. Okay. 
Oh, it's a dummy. <laughs> Don't give me crap every time. There we go, not too bad. You know, the heels are kind of weak. They're really sure. I think we got everything that we can. What could they even do in here? You know. They don't have the conduct wrong. Well, I guess I can do no light. Make sure I don't miss it. It's in here. Because, look, you can always miss, right? You always miss stuff, man. I think stuff kind of sucks. And you have to backtrack. Comrade Major, have you found Dr. Filatov? Give me a second. The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> you know, you're for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned <laughs> neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not <laughs> be hurt. Fine, Did fine. I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in yeah. mind. Do the known. Right there, right? Ooh, there's something in here. Didn't realize that until it's then. Oh, part one. Oh, there you go. Just trying to help. You know, all the mashed potatoes will be gone, and then I'll have to hear all about it. Yeah, go on. I'll catch up to you. I'll probably get there first. Whatever. Okay. We have a lot of heels, which is good. What? A lot of dodges, which is even better. I lost my leg. I don't need nobody to bait me. I can get there myself without their help. I don't want pity. I want respect, damn it. Well, maybe they just want to help. Good. Oh, that's why you took the leg. You took the leg of a robot. Oh, I see. Please. Oh. I know when you go in there. I know I do. Get an elevator here. Oh, this part for later. I'm not going to do that just yet. We're going to go in here first. And then if we get out and everything's fine, I'm going to check that area. Is there a trap? Is there a trap over here? That's right there. The way to it. I'll give everyone the job down there. What's the hot workshop used for? Resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat resistant flora. Nice. The, the polymers for it. here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, hmm. a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Oh, they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. Well, I think they're going to be. I think get up there. How oh, donation am I going to get up there? No, oh, no, we'll figure it out eventually. What's the mail? blue stuff over there too. I don't know how you manage to get squished by this kind of stuff. They're kind of like... Really not that troublesome as long as you're, you know... Use your brain at least a bit here. The canisters fill automatically once the yeah. temperature is normalized. I'll take your word for it. How do I get over there? I 
Let me see that tube there. We have it. Here. See you can get up there. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What's that supposed to mean? It's hot. You're hot, huh? Hey, you ought to try going to the Urals and be a steel worker, even if I have shit. That'd make a man of you, I mm -hmm. tell you. But look at him. Instead, he's over there with his pretty flowers hey. bitching about things. We crack up, don't give a goddamn about no heat. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. We'll hop right into an oven or a volcano at the <laughs> drop of a hat. So don't come in for it to me, Bob. We'll see if they collect it, everything will be hunky-dory. Oh, really? And if someone starts bitching, they ain't worth shit. <laughs> there is something kind of fun for now. For now. Earth looks bad, but we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles. Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. The safety area. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon. And one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Chariton Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They oh, laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. Mm. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. I wonder if they traded the brown plague. She's kind of cute. Hmm. So, what do you think about our birch tree, sugar? What? The one in the humongous glass thing? What about it? She's holding out for a hero. Come on, what, what just like I do. Totally fun, chill up. Waiting for mm -hmm. someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty no. for me. I knew you would stay loyal to me, handsome. If the tree starts talking, off the glove give me a pain. If the tree starts talking, you. I swear. Don't hold your breath. So, why is this birch tree so important? It's not important hmm. at all, Stud. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing oh, like oh, oh, oh. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You have to agree. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? Because yeah, we've been everywhere we could here, right? Just making sure. I'm, surp I'm surprised there weren't enemies there. You kind of thought there would have been. Hmm. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I mean, at least you know the plants worked because they were like hot in there. Well, they definitely lived. The workshop's achievements include dozens of heat resistant crops that are already being used to end famine in drought afflicted regions like North Africa and Central Asia. But the true goal of the hot shops research goes far beyond that. With polymer I'll take your word for that. Future heat resistant plants will populate the hot houses of Mars and the cloudy gardens of Venus. Hmm. Oh, see, I see. Oh, they definitely did make that, yeah. Well, Whatever, let's get this in, and I swear the tree better not start talking. They said they don't, but I really don't want to hear a talking tree. Does look pretty pretty darn... Well, you can... Does look pretty darn pretty, though. Connected. There we go. Look at her bloom. What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. 